announce the falling of 10 IDF soldiers in the battles in the north and south of the Gaza Strip. Each of them was killed in the fight to defend the state of Israel so that we are able to live here. We embrace the families and know that there is nothing that could uh, uh, give them any relief these days. We are part of the IDF family. We'll continue to stand by your side. This war has a very heavy price and it takes, has a human toll. We must know that uh, fighting in, uh, in residential area, there are explosives, uh, anti-tank uh, uh, missiles and snipers. We eliminate the terror ability of the enemy, the same ones that uh, were used on October 7th. We use that from air, ground and sea. Any attack on a new uh, Hamas holdout is uh, being protected uh, with fire from the air and from land. Any task that needs aerial assistance gets it. Forces continue to deepen their fight in the area of Han Yunis, where exposed tunnels and kill terrorists. The fight in Han Yunis is complicated, but we have reached quite a few underground Hamas facilities have encountered terrorists and will continue to deepen this today and in the coming days. Today we have published the activity of the reserves uh, activity of the 551 unit in Jabalia. In the activity, the fighters have exposed a tunnel network of Hamas. This is a network that was the northern command of Hamas in Gaza. Dozens of miles underground, we found uh, weapons, uh, also labs for creating new weapons. And emergency rooms from which the commander Ahmad Randour has led the fight on October 7th against the State of Israel. The network was connected to the shaft that uh, made it to Randur's home, who we eliminated a few weeks ago. This, uh, uh, these tunnels were uh, constructed next to the Indonesian hospital in Jabalia. Hamas operates out of civilian infrastructure as a shield for its terror activity. This is a challenge that we're dealing with, and we do it well with full protection to our forces and they reached achievements like uh, Unit 551 as part of the effort to return the hostages, the forces dug out the bodies of Ziv Dado, Ron Sherman, Nick Beiser, Eden Zaharia and Elia Toledano. May the memory be a blessing. We brought them for burial in Israel. The bodies were transferred to the Pathological Institute where the circumstances of their death will be revealed. We will update the families and then if, as far as the families uh, agree to, we will uh, reveal the information to the public. We embrace the families. We'll continue the policy that we've led so far. We'll show any evidence to the families and then to the public. In the north, uh, where a large wave of attacks, a large number of Hezbollah targets, including infra terror infrastructure and launching sites, we've killed several Hezbollah terrorists yesterday. Along the day, we've identified several launches out of Lebanon and our forces have returned fire immediately. Questions? Many casualties to our forces. How does that go together with the uh, statement that uh, full control has been uh, recovered over those areas? Over the last uh, weekend, there were quite a few of casualties. I've, I've just reported 10 uh, fallen soldiers who were laid to rest. Every event is a different event with different characteristics. It's part of the fighting. The public must understand this. You cannot dismantle Hamas without a ground operation. The way that in which we map the underground tunnels 
from which Hamas managed the October 7th and destroy it and expose uh, uh, weapons, this goes through a ground operation. Only once you uncover the terrorists, this also allows us to continue the intelligence efforts to bring back the hostages. All of these things together uh, create the pressure on Hamas, underground killing terrorists, going underground. This is what creates the pressure on Hamas, as we did so before. Before the pause in the fighting, we have increased our... We've increased our operation. We are in operational control. Therefore, we can operate in the area. This is the meaning of operational control. In the north of the Strip, where we separated the area from from the sea to the Berry area, anything north of that, we're still fighting there. In Darch Tufakh, this is the last stronghold of Hamas. In the rest of the territory, we are uh, holding the territory, but it is an area that we cleared. We took out most of the Hamas infrastructure underground, as we exposed to the public. This is the meaning of the great achievement in the north, and there is a lot of work still in, in the south. Han Yunus is the second largest or second most important area in Gaza, and we focus on that now. Minister ben says that because of the pause, there are more casualties because it enabled Hamas to regroup. Does this have a base in reality? We conduct a war, a very complex war against a cruel enemy. It is a war that has one goal of eliminating Hamas and also has another goal of returning the hostages, doing the effort to return the hostages. The IDF needs to know how to deal with the complexities of these goals. And therefore, in the previous time, we took the pause in order to bring back the hostages. This is part of the goals of the war. The IDF had to create the operational conditions. Let us not be mistaken, the only reason why this deal happened was the military pressure and that uh, for which Hamas asked for a pause. We created the conditions in order to allow the return of the hostages. We also killed terrorists during the pause. Uh, it's part of our operational uh, system. We did not reduce our uh, operational capacity. And I must say, if we focused on the north, now, Again, I uh, go back to the previous question. There is an uh, operational achievement in the north. We'll, com we'll complete the north, whatever is left there in, da in Dodge to Fach, and then we focus on the south. I do not refer to any particular uh, minister.